a file is being sent to the DPP after a Garda was hit in the side of a head inside of his head yesterday by a missile and two Gardaí vehicles were damaged in the Ballyfermot area of Dublin yesterday and Hazel de Nortoon People Before Profit Councillor for Ballyfermot Drimna joins us now uh, Hazel I think a lot of people will have seen the scenes on social media chaotic scenes lots and lots of youths kind of running amok on the street kids on scramblers violent disorder uh, what are you hearing on the ground from the area? Well, there was local shock, I'd say, as to the scenes that didn't fall. Um, I was down onto the lower end of Ballyferm, the main road. Um, it wouldn't be different from scenes we might have seen into more discreet areas, probably up into the back of Cherry Orchard over the last few months and stuff. And I think it's broad to say that, like, anyone in the area would, wouldn't condone that level of violence in any aspect. Um, and again, I think I've said this before and I'll say it again, everybody has the right to go about their work yeah. in a safe environment. Um, um, but it is a part of the bigger, broader picture that we've been talking about around what we call antisocial behaviour over the last few months. Okay. Um, it's nothing new, but it is something that we're always trying to tackle and find the best way to tackle it, you know. And the guards intervened because a, a, an elderly woman allegedly was almost hit by a scrambler, so they felt they had to intervene on the grounds of safety and then everything kind of kicked off. What do people want locally? Is it is it a, a bigger guard of presence? Is it something different? I think there is um, levels... From, it, it's like an interagency, and I know we kind of throw that word around, but I, I, I think the reason to to broaden it out is if, if you're looking at one aspect, there's blockages right across the sector. So when we were working with a lot of the youths on the ground, if they might have need necessity into the likes of uh, mental health services or housing services or education, like unless we kind of tackle it from all of those levels, then where are we going to move people on to when we do address them and find out what their needs are? Um, and that's the problem that we're kind of having and that's why we pushed for this interim board that the Minister for Justice came out and said that she'd set up is to try and tackle it from all of those levels. Um, we're kind of stuck in a logistic stage as to what that's going to look like and how we're going to do it. But um, I, I do think we need to be tackling from all levels because if we just say we need more guards, what, that's kind of when we're dealing with it after an instance has happened. Yeah. Yeah. So if we're not Although getting when you say you stage, need the other things, uh, uh, you know, we, we have desk schools, we, we have mental health services, we have satellite clinics for mental health services in the area already. And the housing crisis doesn't just affect Ballyfermot, it affects the whole country. Mm-hmm. So so is it right that because Ballyfermot has youths kicking off and, and behaving in this manner that they would be bumped up a, a, a housing list ahead of places where maybe youths behave better? No, and like nobody would call for that and I wouldn't stand over any aspect like that. But I know you're saying we do have those services, but we do see reductions in the mental health services up in Cherry Orchard. They've halved the amount of beds. And I, I talk to many children and families that are waiting on services and there are years waiting on the list. So unless you do have the means and the funds to go into a private sector to deal with it, you are left waiting on the list. Now, that's just one aspect of it. I'm not saying yeah. that that will automatically lead to this situation today. But children don't also, also look at uh, boundaries like we do. So, you know, that, that's just to say that everybody that was there that day is from Bally Fair. But that's just another point of it. They don't look at constituencies, they don't look at borders. There is a problem right across the sector at the moment about young people engaging in criminal activity yeah. um, or antisocial activity, whatever you may call it. And if we're not engaged on the ground, and like as I said, this isn't nothing new. It's been springing up in different areas, but it's, we need to figure out how we're going to tackle it in a different way because I think if we're just kind of coming at it at the end stage, we're not actually addressing it. Um, and that's where I'd like to focus with time, right. I suppose, because all you can say to people when they're asking you, how are we going to get around this? We have to figure out why people are reacting in this way when Gardaí show up. We have to figure that piece out. OK. Look, thank you for speaking to us this morning. We do appreciate it. That is Hazel de Nortoon there, People Before Profit Councillor for the Bally Firm at Drimna area.